Alright, just gonna make sure she's back. Okay, I've got you down for a skin check. Is yeah. there anything in particular uh, you want me to focus on? Uh, just my freckles. I go on holiday quite a lot, so I feel I've got a few new ones as well. Okay, so on the face, yeah. um, and as part of that package, we'll do the neck, chest, and back. Okay, thank you. Um, and I can also do some face mapping as well, just yeah. to analyse the different areas on the face and see if there's any um, treatments we can offer you. Okay, thank you. Alright, so if you just close your eyes. Are there any areas in particular? Um, My shoulders tend to get quite a few. Okay, looking at the shoulders. My face has got quite a few as well, I think. Yeah, okay, I can take a look. I'll start with the face. We'll move on to the neck, chest, and then back. Thank okay. you. Okay. So, I'm just going to brush the areas, and uh, then I'll pop some gloves on and get started. Okay. want to disturb the skin too much. Okay, let's put some gloves on. Take a look. This area on the forehead here is responsible for the small intestine. So it doesn't seem to be. Skin is a little dehydrated. There's no redness or acne. These side parts here are linked to the bladder.
some damage on the freckles. Looks okay. Skin isn't as dehydrated on the sides. Definitely in need of some moisture. between the eyebrows on the sides of the eyebrows here it's your heart tiny bit of redness on the nose I think that's more linked to the sun damage the tip of the nose there's definitely a fair amount of sun damage there some pigmentation um, but much larger freckles occurring there is some redness going down the nose as well redness can be a sign of alcohol use but you can see you've caught the sun on your nose and on the tops of the cheeks there on the cheeks Is it sore on the nose? No, it's okay Yeah, okay I think it's just a bit red from the sun Yeah Okay Skin is actually quite plump If you could just look up as in just with your eyes close them. So there is some um, darkening on the eyes which may be related to the kidney. Let's just have a look. So increased amounts of salt in the diet can cause that. And then the cheeks often relate to the stomach area. And cheeks are okay. You don't actually have any major kind of areas that look bad or as if it needs much attention obviously it needs to take greater care on the nose applying some SPF chin this area here is the reproductive system there is some redness there okay Your lips are a little bit dry. Yeah, they get a bit dry. Yeah, it might indicate you need to drink a bit more water. Okay. It's usually the first area I can just feel there. A bit drier there. Okay.
See where these are related to the reproductive system, you may have a slight hormonal imbalance. Mm. Um, you may find that cutting out certain foods can actually reduce the redness here. Okay. There are certain foods that can support um, the female body. Um, I'll definitely apply something on here to reduce the redness a little bit. Thank you. So just keeping the eyes closed, let's just check on the eyelids. There's some pigmentation there. Just looking towards me for a moment and then facing the front. There's no uh, moles on the face that I'm particularly concerned about. Okay. Let's have a look at your neck and chest area. Okay, so the shoulders. Just have a look. Again, a lot of this is pigmentation. I'm not necessarily seeing anything I'm particularly concerned about. A little bit more on the cleavage area here. I burned quite badly there. Yeah, so it looks okay, but obviously there's a bit more uh, pigmentation in that area. Your skin is um, trying to protect itself, and that's why all these freckles are appearing. you to turn over and I'll okay. take a look at your back. All right. Okay. Stop. Sorry, so it's just out of the way. First of all, I'm just going to feel Is that a cut there? It might be for my dog Yeah Right, shoulders, if you could just put your arms there, that's perfect It's definitely Increased. There's one particular mole here actually. It's got a very jagged edge. It's not an even colour. It's not raised, which is good. I might want to have a second opinion on that one. The rest are okay.
going to measure half a centimeter in length and what, four millimeters wide. I just ask you to put your arms to the side, just one hand. Concerned about any others on the back. Just gonna feel for any lumps under the skin. Just while I'm here, do you check your breasts regularly? Um, probably not enough, no. A good rule of thumb is when you're in the shower. Yeah. When you've got the soap on your hands, just have a feel. Okay. Um, and the armpit area as well. And uh, you're just looking for anything that's hard, P shaped, or anything that's abnormal. Okay. And then the good thing about checking all the time means that you'll notice anything that uh, doesn't feel normal to you. Mm. Yeah. dehydrated on the back. It's not a lot of moisture. I'd recommend moisturising and a tip is to apply the moisturiser while you're still wet okay. and it actually locks in the moisture from the water. Okay. And obviously drinking more water. Okay, what I'm going to just ask you to do now is to just turn over, I'll have a quick look around the hairline and then I'll apply something to just freshen the face up Okay. and then we'll be finished for today. Okay, okay I'm just going to take this off. Some pigmentation, top of the ears, don't forget, applying sun cream there. There's definitely lots of freckles in the hairline.
ask you to lean your head forwards so I can just look in there. Okay. It's not so bad on the top of the head, just uh, relaxing again there. Just lifting the chin slightly. Okay. I'm going to just apply a very gentle toner just to clean the face. Just closing the eyes, I feel a bit cold. this on your lips just to add a little bit of moisture back in and then we're gonna block that in in a second. Okay, some very gentle cleanser. This is a cream cleanser. Smells nice. Yeah, this is 100% natural. It's made for sensitive skin. This has chamomile in it, so it will really calm the skin, especially where there is some sun damage. Does this feel okay? Yeah, it feels really nice. It feels really nice on my skin, this one. Yeah, so this one I think is perfect for your skin type. I'll talk you through it in a moment. Okay. And then just to lock all of that in, I'm just going to apply hydrating mist. So just closing the eyes. Okay. 
just because it's a little bit jagged yeah. and it just looks a little bit abnormal to me okay. um, I have applied a very gentle cleanser and then whilst the face was still damp I applied a moisturiser this is um, from Lush, it's a dream cream it's really really calm on the skin as you can see it's got a lot of natural ingredients um, and particular oat milk which yeah. is a very good soother. Yeah. The cleanser is Sukin Signature Cream Cleanser. It's for all skin types, but again, it's natural, it's calming. Yeah. The um, micellar water I used, um, it's just um, a generic one. It's just very good for cleaning. Um, you don't need expensive products. You just yeah. need to get the moisture on your skin and then lock it in. Um, so see how you get on with making a couple of changes to the diet okay. and I'll see you again for the um, mole and I'll have my colleague take a look. Okay, thank oh, you. Oh, it's lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Okay. Thank you.